now let us discuss about avl tree node deletion the deletion of a node from avl tree is similar to the binary search tree node deletion but after deleting the node we have to rebalance the avl tree we know about uh, balance factor uh, so in avl tree after performing insertion operation or after performing the deletion operation we need to calculate balance factor for each and every node in the tree if balance factor of a node is minus 1 or 0 or plus 1 then we can say that the node is balanced node if all the nodes are balanced nodes then we can say that the tree is balanced tree suppose if one of the node balance factor is other than minus 1 0 plus 1 then we can call that node as unbalanced node so the tree will become the unbalanced tree so if the tree becomes unbalanced one then we have to rebalance the tree by performing the corresponding rotation such as ll rr lr or rl rotation so in binary search tree deletion we have three cases so first let us understand about binary search tree deletion why because avl tree deletion is similar to the binary search tree deletion only okay uh, so here in binary search deletion we have three cases case one is deleting the leaf node case two is delete deleting a node with one children case three is deleting a node with two children so case one deleting a leaf node leaf node means the node with no children so here 1 3 18 these three nodes are called as leaf nodes uh, if we want to delete a leaf node then directly we can delete that node okay suppose i want to delete node 1 so directly we can delete node 1 without making any changes so after doing the deletion operation we have to calculate the balance factor suppose if any node is unbalanced node then we have to rebalance the tree by performing the corresponding rotation next case is deleting a node with one children so if you take this example here i want to delete node 2 why because here node 2 has one children so if you want to delete node 2 then we have to replace node 2 by its children why because here the deleted node has only one child so if you want to delete node 2 then replace this node by its children so that means we have to attach deleted node child to deleted node parent so now simply we have to replace this deleted node by its children by its children so replace 2 by 3 next case is deleting a node with two children if we want to delete a node with three ch two children then we will follow two cases we can replace the deleted node with the in order predecessor of that node in order predecessor means left to subtree maximum value or we can replace the deleted node with in order successor node in order successor means right subtree minimum value let us assume that here we want to delete node 18 then we can replace node 18 with in order predecessor so that means left subtree maximum value so what is the maximum value in the left subtree that is 17 so we can replace 18 with 17 or we can replace 18 with in order successor so that means right subtree minimum value so out of 23 20 28 20 is the minimum value so replace 18 by 20 so by following these three cases we can perform the deletion so here we have a tree we have an avl tree now our aim is we want to delete 11 16 18 18 next to 28 20 from the corresponding avl tree first let us delete node 11 here what is node 11 in order to find node 11 first we have to find out where 11 is so for that we have to compare 11 with 18 11 is less than 18 so move left 11 is less than 13 so every time we have to compare the deleted node with the root node and its children likewise so 11 with 18 
less than. So 11 with 13, less than. So 11, 11, same. So now delete the node, okay. Here 11 is leaf node. If the deleted node is a leaf node, then directly we can perform the deletion without making any changes, okay. So directly do the deletion operation. After performing the deletion operation, we have to check whether that tree is balanced tree or not. So for that calculate the balance factor. For 15 it is 0, for 17 it is 0, for 16 left to subtree height is 1, right subtree height is 1. So 1 minus 1 means 0. Next to for 13 left to subtree height is 0, right subtree height is 2. So 0 minus 2 means minus 2. Here there is no need to calculate for right subtree. Why? Because here we have performed the deleted operation on the left to subtree only. Okay. So here we have minus 2. So that means this node is unbalanced node. So we have to perform the balancing now. So how to perform the balancing? Here this is nothing but right side. Here 16 he has two children. If we have a situation like this, then we need to treat this as a single unit. So we need to perform RR rotation. So there is no need to perform RL rotation. If the node has two children like this, then it is better to treat this as a single unit and perform this this rotation, RR rotation. RR rotation means we need to perform the left to rotation. Left to rotation. So RR means perform the left to rotation on the corresponding unbalanced node. So 18, 18. So perform the rotation on 13. So 13 will be rotated to the left. So now what is the parent now? 16 is the parent. Next, 13 is the left child. Next to 16, right child is 17. What about 15? 15 is nothing but 15 is less than 16. According to the binary search tree, we have to attach the additional loads. Okay. We know that 15 is less than 16. So left, 15 is greater than 13. So right. So 15 will be attached as the right. Next, there is no change in the right subtree. So 23. <coughs> Next to 20. Next to 28. 23, 20, 28. 23, 20, 28. If you see here, now 15, 13, 17. So 2 minus 1, 1. Everything is balanced now. Okay. So 11 is successfully deleted. Now let us delete 16. <coughs> so in order to find 16, compare 16 with 18. 16 is less than 18. So left to children. 16, 16, both are same. So here 16 has two children. If we have two children, then we can replace that node with either in order predecessor. So that means left to subtree maximum value or in order successor. That means right subtree minimum value. We have to follow one of that approach. Here I am following the second approach. Why? Because if we follow the second approach, then we will get some unbalanced node. So we can do the rotation. Okay. So now 18, <coughs> so 16, 16 in order success means here the right subtree contains only one value. So replace 16 with 17, replace 16 with 17, next to remaining 17 left children is 30, 13, 13 right children is 15, there is no change in the right subtree, so 23. 20, 28. Now, after performing the deletion operation, we have to check whether it is balanced tree or not. So, let us calculate the balance factor. 15. Next for 13, it is 13 is right children. So, 0 minus 1 means minus 1. Next to 17, balance factor is 2 minus 0 means left to subtree is 2. So, 2 minus 0 means 2. So, here the balance factor is 2. So that means this is unbalanced node. So we have to perform the rotation. So this is L and this is R. So we have to perform LR rotation. Let us perform the rotation. Here what is the root node? 18 is the root node. There is no change in the right subtree. So keep it as same only. So 23, 20, 28. So LR rotation means first we need to perform the left rotation. Next we need to perform the right rotation. Or directly also we can write the output. Okay. So out of 17, 13, 15, which is the smaller value, 13 is the smaller value. So 13 will become the left to children. 
what is the maximum value out of 17, 13, 15? Why? Because 17 is unbalanced and here we have to perform LR rotation. So 17 is the maximum value. So 17 will become the right children. What is the middle one? 15. So 15 will become the intermediate parent node. So, so if you want to perform a rotation on these three, on any three nodes, then what will happen is the minimum value will become the left chain. 13 is the minimum value. The maximum value will become the right child and the middle one is nothing but the parent node. Okay. Now this is balanced node. So now 11 is deleted. Next 16 is deleted. Now we have to delete. 16 is also deleted. Okay. Now we have to delete 18. So delete 18. So compare 18 with 18. Same. So here 18 is 18 has two children, okay? So we can follow either first approach or second approach, okay? Uh, let us follow the second approach. So what is the second approach? In order successor. In order successor means right supreme minimum value. So replace 18 with, what is the right supreme minimum value? 20. So replace 18 with 20. Replace 18 with 20. Next 15. Next to 13. 17. Next to what is 20 right child? 23. 23 right child is 28. So this 20, this 18 is replaced by 20. Okay. Now there is no need to write 20 here. Uh, next let us do the 28. So here 28 is the leaf node. So directly we can delete the node without making any changes. So this is the balance tree only. So there is no need to perform any rotation. So here also this is the balance tree only. There is no need to perform any rotation. What is the last one? 20 is the last one. 20 is the last one. So compare 20 with 20. So both are same. Here 20 has two children. So we can replace either with in order successor or in order predecessor. Now in this situation, let us replace with in order predecessor. So what is in order predecessor? Left to sub 3 maximum value. So what is the maximum value here? 17 is the maximum value. So replace 20 by 17. 17 next to 15. Next to 13, next to 23, next to 23. So replace 20 by 17, 15, 13. This is the final tree after performing the deletion. So likewise, you can delete uh, any node very, very easily from the AVL tree. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.